Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how we can create a progressive web app using Flutter. So the first and foremost thing is we need to import our package that is web view Flutter. So we'll just go right into our pubspec.yaml file and here we'll install the web view Flutter package and you can always go to pub.dev site to install all your dependency. Coming back to our code, that's all we need. Right into our main.dart file. Let me close this. And here we have our main code. So first we just created a main function and here we just create a material app named as my app. And my app is basically a stateless widget that will return a web app. Now inside this web app, we have created a stateful class widget. Now here we need to implement our web view. So first we have a scaffold which will take in a body parameter. And now this will take in a widget uh, that is safe area. So it makes sure that we have a sufficient padding on the sideways and now this takes a child and now we are going to provide it a web view widget. So we just write web view and you can see the package is automatically imported. Now this web view package will take in two parameters. So as you can see here, we have an initial URL and we have other parameters like initial cookies, JavaScript mode, JavaScript channels and some other functions as well. So the most important parameter where we are going to provide the URL of our web application to this web view widget is our initial URL. Now this initial URL is of type string. So we'll just give it a URL, which is nothing but the link to my channel. And that's it. So if I just reload my mobile application here, uh, we can see some things being loaded on the screen and that is pretty much it. So let me just add one more parameter here, which is, which is JavaScript mode and that takes uh, JavaScript mode dot unrestricted. So it just makes us easier to interact with the web application on our mobile app. And now you can just simply use it just like your web application. And next in line, we do have some other functions as well for our web view widget, like on web view created or we have on page started on page finished and different kind of errors are also represented through this web view widget. So these types of methods or functions are used in more complex applications. If you want, you can explore them on your own or you can comment below. So I could create a full project based upon this web view widget. So that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for more amazing content till then. Goodbye.